Okay. Uh, so we've got a sample. This is the mass. Uh, put this sample in 15 grams of benzene. So benzene is going to be your solvent. I have the Kf. Uh, by the way, which one do I need the Kf for when I have... This is the solute. This is the solvent. I need the Kf for which one? When you're doing collegiate properties. Solute or solvent? Solute. Solute. Solvent. Solvent. Yeah, it, it always goes with the solvent. So if you're in, in water, you're always using the Kf of water. It's irrelevant what the solute is. It doesn't matter. That's why it's called colligative properties. There's no, it, it's irrelevant what the solute is. Okay, so uh, here's the Kf. We know the freezing point depression. And we want to know the molar mass. So let me write down the equation. Delta T is I K M. It has to be the, I mean, if they give you a Kf, it's got to be this equation. Delta T is right there. I, I'm supposing it's 1 because benzene's an organic. Uh, so I'm going to suppose that this is 1. K is right there. And then hidden inside M is going to be our answer. So if you've ever asked for, say, molar mass or molality, of course, or grams or moles, that's all hidden with inside the M. So you go M is equal to delta T. I K, which is 0 0.240, divided by I, divided by K, which is 5.12. That's going to be molality, which is moles of solute <coughs> per kilograms of benzene. Benzene is the solvent. So I have that, whatever numerical value it is. 0.0468. Got it? Yeah. Put 0. Say it again. 0. 0.68. Okay, thank you. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. Oh, there's a 4. Okay, yeah. Why is I 1? Move the decimal by 1. Yeah, it looks like we're dealing with organics because benzene is an organic. And anything that's organic is going to have an I of 1. I mean, it's not ionic. It's anything molecular from chem 2A, meaning non-metals, is always going to have an I of 1. But the only time you won't have an I of 1 is if you add in metals, because uh, that makes it ionic, and then you have to count the number of ions. Okay, so I got 0. 0.468 molal. 0. 0.046. 0. 0.046. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. 0. 0.468 molal. And now, uh, this is per kilograms of benzene. I have the, that of benzene. I want to get rid of benzene because I'm interested in the molar mass of the sample. So I'm going to multiply this by the kilograms of benzene, uh, 0 0.015 kilograms. It comes from this number right there. Okay. So now I'll have moles of the solute. This is giving me moles solute. Or a sample, if you want to say sample. Do you got that? 7.03 times 10 to the negative 4. 7.0 uh, times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, that's good enough for us. Now you just, you have moles, and you got grams, you just divide the two. And that's molar mass. So you take, uh, I'll just write it down here. 0 0.546 grams divided by moles, 7.0 times 10 to the minus 4 moles, and that's your answer, whatever that is. And it looks like the answer is going to be D. It's a big number uh, for this spring 06 exam. Okay. Okay, any questions on this one? It's a pretty typical colligative property question.